house up on the hill. So we're driving and uh, the theme today is snow is kind of managing the photography, the videography today. So she's got me turning cameras on, turning them off, getting angles. I'm not managing, it's just when you're the navigator, when you're the passenger and we're driving through stuff, that's your job. I'm gonna work for a living, Kurt. <laughs> So gorgeous. Look at that, guys. Nice rock face. You can see the valley right there. It just opens up. So cool. And all that is just littered with little coffee plantations. So I just see all sorts of little coffee plants out there. So we've kind of transitioned. We still do see the banana trees. But less corn, more coffee, and more bananas. You make the sky so blue. No, nothing's complicated. this has been a really beautiful drive with just a light mist every once in a while but we've just gotten back into some rain but luckily we are pretty close to our next destination Kurt has taken over the driving duties bringing us home so we'll show y'all where we're gonna be in just a few minutes Keep right. Is this it? No. Let's go around the curve. We are getting super close. And when we were coming through the mountains, Kurt said, what'd you say, Kurt? I said, I'm going to spot the first really cool exotic bird. And we turned down a country road and I was just eyes peeled. And I spotted a toucan. <laughs> he did. He called it and it happened. Kurt spotted the first toucan. And you guys don't know this about us yet, but we like toucans. So anyway, hopefully the footage turned out. It was all very rushed. We weren't prepared. But we are almost to our place. Almost there, guys. So right up in that tree right there, we spotted our first toucan. Snow's trying to get a picture and a video of it. See how it turns out.
Morning, guys. Morning. 7 a.m. Snow popped up, and she's ready to go to the jungle. On the jungle hike, I should say. Jungle part one. We've got jungle part two later today. Yeah. So. But first, we sure love our kitty cats, but gotta clean the litter box. Snow's Twice a day. on. Snow's on litter box duty. Twice a day. As usual, waiting on snow. Yeah. But honest, <laughs> honestly, guys, I gotta say I'm pretty proud. It's only about 7:30 in the morning. Normally, she doesn't get up before 10 a.m. So. We almost forgot these. <laughs> that would not have been good. So this is where we stayed last night, and it was a really nice flat spot, which we've been kind of a little bit lopsided the last couple days. But we've got some cascadas here to explore. There's a little jungle trail. We saw some toucans on the way in, and uh, it's been rainy for about three days. It rained all night last night. It's a little bit cloudy, but it looks like the sun's trying to burn through. So we'll see what happens today. What I remember. And Snow has her walking stick. So. We'll see if I need it. <laughs> let's go, guys. Let's check it out. So this is an eco-friendly resort back here. And it, it literally borders the Las Nubis waterfall. But these little places are gorgeous. But they have little cabanas. I imagine they have about 30 of them back here. They keep it perfectly manicured. And this is an area of conservation. So there's birds. There may be some monkeys here. I don't think so. But there's definitely some toucans and some other exotic birds. And there's also all sorts of cool tropical plants and flowers and trees. And so I'm going to go on a hike, but first we're going to have some breakfast and then I'm going to show you the jungle. All right, guys, we found ourselves on another suspension bridge. And, uh, you know, Snow loves to complain about how I'm bouncy on these things. No bouncy. And this one right here is over a raging, raging river right below the waterfall. And if you look down, you can just see the water is just ripping at the side of the river. Holy cow. There is a lot of power in this river today. You bounce when you walk. You gotta walk smooth. I'm like a bouncer. Look at that, guys. 
What a powerful force. I really don't think it's like this most of the time. I think all the rain has it like uh, above flood stage. The pictures, you can walk all out in this with little waterfalls everywhere. Instead, it's a giant, huge waterfall. So on the way in, we told you guys about all the coffee fields. So we're having a little authentic or local coffee. Local grown coffee. It's gonna be good. So we're here at an eco lodge. And honestly, you don't run into too many people out traveling right now. But we met this couple. And what's the exciting news? Well, I just gave her the ring yesterday. Oh! And she said yes. Yes! <laughs> All right, Dorothy is. Holy cow! Look at these things. They're giants. Gigante. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the biggest tortilla I think we've had in Mexico. It's the size of my plate. Look at that. Thing. It's huge. All right, we're having us a little breakfast, and I'm gonna go back to the van, and Kurt's gonna do a bigger hike. See and, what he can find. And something else you always gotta do is try the salsa. Never know if this is going to be super spicy. Well, you don't know. Woo! <laughs> it's a spicy oh one. I'm having some fried plantains and a little local coffee. All right, here we go. Into the jungle. So here's a little map, guys. Looks like it's 1,500 meters, roughly. And so we're gonna start right here. This is where we are. Looks like we kind of follow the river down. Looks like there might be a couple cascadas, I don't know, along the way. And then loop back. So we're looking for some of these guys and anything else we can see to show you. Let's go. So one of my first observations about the jungle is it's pretty dark in here. Oh, here's some more of those little mushrooms. Yes, thanks. But it's pretty dark in here. Of course, it's overcast today, so that's not helping. But it's very tropical. So there's some sort of odd structure back here looks like maybe it was at one time an old house or something looks like that's some kind of tub yeah it's like uh, a little pool or a little tub let's see let's go out this door right here looks like they had a fireplace right there oh there's some steps over there and there's the river Oh, there's another fall there. Let me see what I can see, guys. All right, that was a road to nowhere. There's a cool little structure out here, maybe a house or something. No view of the river. It's uh, just too jungly, so we'll go down a little bit further and see if we get a view. All right, this is a point of reference. I'm walking down this trail, down the river. So here's my first big sort of decline, I'm walking down the steps. I can hear the water racing, so I bet there's gonna be another cascada up here. So let's go see if we can get by the river and check this out. All right, we're at the first fork in the road. So I can go to the path to left where I can go to the tunnel. That's a no-brainer. I'm going to the tunnel. So it looks like there's a bunch of bats up in that tunnel and it's made by water but that thing says when the water's high you can't go in it so we'll go down and take a look from the viewpoint but I don't think we'll be able to go in the tunnel.
So right back in here is a stairway down and you can see how it ends the river. So this is supposed to be a viewpoint for the tunnel. But look at the water guys. It's really high. I can see with the drone there's a little waterfall right there down dropping into the cave. And apparently when the river's real low, you can go down there and play. And you can play on all these waterfalls. And actually they're real smooth limestone. So you can use them for slides in some places. The water's like a beautiful turquoise blue. Uh, I think it's like in the non-rainy season, like in February or March and sometimes like that. But a really gorgeous place. But uh, I gotta say, this powerful river right here cut through the jungle, it's pretty impressive itself. This is a sheer drop off right here. Gives me the heebie jeebies, even walking along it. Straight down, I'm at the top. I'm actually standing on the root of this big old tree right here. Look at all those plants growing out of that thing. But if this tree right here that I'm standing on were to go, probably this whole mountain would go. This whole side of this trail. Woohoo, heebie jeebies. So these steps are made out of limestone rock, which is all over down here. A lot of limestone. But what's nice, they have these handrails. And so when you're going up and down the stairs, you can have three points of contact. Usually, Snow would love to have her walking stick, but this makes it really nice for walking on a trail. It makes it a lot safer, too, with the three points of contact. This is a good day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many when the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel That's what I'm talking about. This is some real Indiana Jones stuff. This little needled tree. And the sun has just come up. Burned through the clouds and starting to glisten through this jungle. Oh, it's lighting it up. It's so cool. You have the little mist coming through the jungle. The roar of the river. <laughs> Love it, guys. Ah, so we just had that big breakfast, and I'm probably about halfway through the hike. And uh, Snow made the decision to stay back in the van. And I think she made the right choice. There's a lot of steep up and down on this trail. You can see right here, I'm going back down. But this trail just climbs along the jaggedy rocket edge of this river. The Santo Domingo River runs through the jungle in buffer areas between crops, villages, livestock on its sort of path from its rebirth on the border to joining the Jatate River forms a large number of waterfalls, backwaters, and beaches to show up its capricious path.
What a beautiful place. I gotta be honest with you guys. I think I would come back to this place again to see the water when it's turquoise. I mean, it's amazing right now, but this Mirador Vista Hermosa is something to behold and something you definitely wanna see no matter what season, but I would pick the not rainy season. So look at this, there's a big rock jutting up out of nowhere. You can see the big roots of this tree just wrapped around the rock. And that tree's going right out of the top of that big boulder. Huh. Amazing. I love nature. All right, this is super not cool, so unexpected. So the path twists back to this mountainside. In order to get the other side, I gotta go through this little tunnel. I think I gotta get on my hands and knees and the ground is, well, muddy. Gotta do it. I'm doing the duck waddle. Ah. Backpack's got clearance issues. Ugh. Ugh. All right, I made it through using only the duck waddle. Look at this over here though, guys. All right, guys, this is a little weird. Looks like we got another slot canyon to wiggle through. That looks skinny for a big boy like me. I don't know if I can make that. Messy guys. Uh, I don't think. Uh, 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 definitely crawling. Definitely crawling. Definitely crawling. Uh, woo -hoo -hoo. So, guys, you see why we had to do van life now. If I would have waited another five years, I'd have never been able to make it through those holes and I'd be stuck somewhere in the jungle. So, you gotta do it while you can. I see a little pot of light up here. I just seen a, a bird just darted right through this opening right here. I couldn't catch out what kind it was. Oh, we're back in the parking lot. Look, it's the van. <laughs> I wonder what snow and the kitties are up to. I snow's up and about. I see her. She's doing something. She's cleaning. It's about time. It's been rainy and dirty. We've been in and out of the van, tracking it up, and uh, living full time. 
Oh, we just had a van tour. Yeah, we just had a van tour. Nice. Well, how was the hike? It was amazing. It was, uh, was it nice? yeah, wait till you see the footage. It's oh, so I'm good. Excited. Yeah. I'm excited. But what I think is it's time to head out of here and to the next place. Yeah. Let's go. So Kurt is back from his hike. He's taking a quick shower here where we camped. Just to give you guys a reference, this is a very nice ecotourism resort. I mean, it's very nice. Everything is very well kept. And it cost us 200 pesos to park here overnight. And um, that is about $10, just to give you guys a reference. So Kurt's using the shower here because they're super nice. And then we're gonna be on the road looking for more toucans on our way out, headed to the next place. So now, just waiting on Kurt. <laughs> Whew. So guys, I get back from the van. Snow's got everything packed up and ready to go. She's got my shower bag ready. So I run off and take a shower yeah. real quick, hop back in the van, charge up some batteries, yeah. and we are on the road. Yeah, and what he doesn't even know is while he was hiking, I did some cleaning in the van. Yeah, I noticed. Shook out all the rugs, cleaned the floor, cleaned the sink, wiped down the cabinets, got her van smelling good. But even better, she did some research. And so we were hoping to see some monkeys and some other big birds, some macaws and some other things here. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see them. Uh, we spotted a toucan on the way in, so we're going to try to catch that. But Snow was doing some research got another place we got a place in the jungle the mighty jungle and we're gonna see some cool stuff so come on guys see you on the next one if you liked this video be sure to give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you know when we put out new videos to see behind the scenes action and help support our journey head over to our youtube membership page you can find the link in the video description thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in a few days.